The Chinatown in New York once had a reputation for crime and poor hygiene, but it has become a tourist spot in Manhattan in recent years, while also attracting ethnic Chinese. Nanny Zhou has more. Chinatown, a place with a hint of old-time Hong Kong. Tourists wandered down the streets to experience the Orient in Lower Manhattan. Oh, I like uh, just the like general Oriental atmosphere. The roast duck is hanging up. That's that's the most unique kind of thing. It just looks like a little movie set. Manhattan's Chinatown lies at the core of the Big Apple, and it is recognized as the oldest among the city's three Chinatowns. Over a century ago, Chinese immigrants, primarily Cantonese, populated this area. But in the past, Chinatown had serious hygiene problems. Organized crime run by gangsters was also rampant. About 10 years ago, the Chinatown Business Improvement District was initiated, kick-starting an inspiring makeover. Streets were cleaned up, the cityscape refined, and public security boosted. Diverse activities were also held to promote the Chinese culture. Mr. Chen, director of the project, wants to bring attention to Chinatown to better conserve the place and help it thrive. He mentioned the number of tour groups have risen threefold and said Chinatown is not exclusive to the Chinese people and it should open up to embrace a wider public interest. Born and raised here, Mr. Lo and Mr. Chen had grumbled about the cluttered environment, like many of their peers. But after visiting many other countries around the world, they started to miss the warmth and sense of security of their old neighborhood. Hence, the duo returned two months ago to open a Cantonese-style tea house that infuses tradition and modernity. The homecoming was all about a sense of belonging, they said, adding that they expect to bring in young ideas to spur the revitalization of Chinatown. Denny Joe, TVB News.